Hey, this is Movie Edge, and this is my October 2023 movie haul. And I had a lot this month, so I'm going to get into it right after I say this. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. You can get a hold of me on Instagram at Movie Edge 1. You can also get a hold of me on my non-media page at Movie Edge Non-Media also Instagram, and if you have the My Movie Pro app, well, feel free to add me there, and you can check out my collection, and I can check out yours. It's all lowercase movie edge. Also, on Instagram for the month of October, you can check out what I watched this whole month. Mostly, I watched horror movies, new ones that i never seen, classic horror movies, like the Universal Monsters, and um, movies that I haven't seen in a long time, like The Frighteners. So, if you want to check out what I watched, you can you can actually uh, look at it there. This is being recorded the 28th of October, so I still have a few more days in there to watch more movies. So, I'll, I'll be adding to that. Now, I'm going to start off with some non-media items. Why am I doing that? Because there's some stupid YouTubers out there that like to support Disney. And they keep swearing by everything Disney. And these, some of them are ones that do not live in the United States. So they don't know what's going on with Disney. They don't keep up with the news. They don't see how how uh, Bob Iger, Kathleen Kennedy, Kevin Feige are ruining the company. Um, and there's others that are underneath them that are just ruining the company left and right. They're losing billions of dollars this year alone, let alone last year and the year before. And uh, people are just swearing by them no matter what they put out. It's gold. No, it is not. There was a South Park special that just got released on the 27th of October. If you've seen it, you know. And um, they're making fun of Kathleen Kennedy and her woke bullshit and her feminist crap and all this other stuff. You have to race swap everything. You have to gender swap everything. And that's why they're losing money. Now, the Disney Corporation is trying to sue the creators of South Park. You can't. You can't take legal action because Parody is not against the law. You're making fun of something. It's not against the law. So good luck with that. Disney. Bob Iger gets his feelings hurt all the time. And he's like, they wanted to stop this special. If you haven't seen it yet, you have to go check it out. It's on Paramount Plus. Not a sponsor. But if you haven't seen it yet, yeah. It's fantastic. It's not every single minute of the thing. It's 48 minutes. It's not every single second of it that is like, haha, funny. But it makes good points. It makes a ton of good points. There's pokes and jabs and uppercuts to Kathleen Kennedy and Disney. So I'm going to start off my video with this. This was on Disney Insiders. It is a Mickey Mouse hat. Now, I talk about Disney all the time. Tag still on her. I talk about Disney all the time. Doesn't mean I hate classic Disney. Doesn't mean I despise everything Disney now. No. I like classic Disney. I like the classic movies that came out from the first movie, Snow White, to about, looking at my collection, to about... Encanto, those are the Disney movies that I really like. After that, it seemed to have went because of their fight with Florida. They, you know, if, if Disney would have just ignored Florida, the governor, he was going to be gone anyway. So four years, not a big deal. But yet Disney had to keep on fighting and putting their stupid woke agenda in movies. And that's why parents don't want their kids to go to the theater to see this stuff. And I don't blame them. 
it's not Disney's job to uh, teach about sexuality and teach what's going on in the world. It is the parents' job. And if the parents don't want to teach their kids at four, five, six, seven years old, they don't have to. So they don't have to go to a Disney film like, I don't know, Strange World, the worst animated movie that ever came out by Disney, and talk about sexuality, talk about um, diversity, talk about race swapping, talk about this. And same thing with Lightyear. They had to stick that piece of woke crap in there for kids. That's why I didn't do that good. Our Elemental, I didn't see yet. But there is a little part in there talking about non-binary. Still, kids do not, not to learn about that. I'm going to watch Elemental in November after all this Halloween stuff is gone because there's a whole stack of movies that I want to see um, that I haven't got a chance to see this month be because I wanted to watch all horror movies and horror comedies and stuff. So I'm going to take a look at that movie and at the end of November, I will give my opinion on it. If it's offensive or it's just something that just goes over your head, just you're not going to even pay attention to it, that's fine. But this is how I feel about Disney. I like old school Disney, Walt Disney, Roy Disney. I don't, don't care for the new people at Disney. Bob Iger, Kathleen Kennedy, Kevin Feige. They're losing their audiences. They're losing their audiences. They're losing their ways. So people, instead of supporting this company freaking don't go see their movies at the theater don't see their movies on disney plus even though i heard elemental is doing better on disney plus than at the theaters and i'll tell you why because people don't want to spend uh 20 bucks or more for a ticket to go see a movie that they're not sure what's in that movie all right universal movies like um illumination people will go spend the money on it it's good family fun it's just it's just fun disney you're not sure anymore it's very vague when you see one of their trailers like wish wish looks decent it looks like it would be something but the vid the the, the trailer is very vague it's very vague so there could be something in there that we're not you know as an audience seeing you know, Strange World was the same way. When I first seen that trailer, I'm like, oh, it looks interesting. But then you find out it's about their woke agenda put into a film. So kind of like Disney, no, not good. Not good for you. But hey, I will give my opinion on Elemental uh, at the end of November. So all these people that think that I'm against Disney, not true. I'm not against old school Disney. The new stuff and the people that are running it need to be fired. All those people need to be fired. The upper, upper level and the ones that are below them and probably the ones below them. Get rid of all of them and you'll see a change. That being said, let's get into the um, non-media part. Now, Disney Movie Club, I ordered two movies, which I'll show in a second. And uh, when you order the movie, you get the uh, the yearly um, ottoman, which I've been doing this for, I don't know, since 2012. So I just don't want to, like, stop. I want, I want to collect them, all right? Just to collect. And it's got the Mickey Mouse hidden Mickeys on there and stuff. So, boom, another one. Even though I don't use them, I should put them on the tree and stuff, but I just wanted to collect. And, uh, you know, if I get tired of them, I'll just give them to somebody. Um, screw it. But that was one thing. That was non-media. The next thing was this hat from Disney Movie Insiders, which has Mickey Mouse and his shadow scaring him. I thought this was brilliant. Didn't last very long. Didn't last for it. Didn't even last a day. So I put my points towards it and I got it. I'm going to wear it for Halloween. 
There's nothing offensive about this hat. There's nothing offensive about Mickey Mouse. Okay? Nothing. I love Mickey Mouse. I love all the classic characters of Disney. All right? So, the two movies... Oh, wait. I got more. <sighs> Sorry. Um, yes. This was in Disney Movie Club. When they send you the hat, they give you free stickers. So... I think I have these, so I'm going to give them to my niece anyway. So I, I don't really use stickers, but these are cool. I like the new style Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. The new cartoons are funny. I actually seen a handful of them. <clears throat> They're great. Next, you get a free pin every month from Disney Movie Club. And the free pin was elemental. But this is going to my niece because she collects Disney pins, and I don't really care to collect this one. If I like the movie, I can always order it, and it's free, so it doesn't matter. Anything for free. So it's, it's kind of a cool pin, but didn't see the movie yet. Don't know if I'm going to like it. So let's get into... That's all I got. Let's get into the movies that I got from Disney Movie Club. First one... These are separate orders, by the way. First one I had to have was Prey for the um, Predator collection. This is a uh, 4K... I love the artwork on this. Very, very simple artwork, but it's really cool. This is a matte finish. So let's take out the back. The back is pretty cool. I like how they put the silver in there and stuff. This movie was great. Although I don't believe a little girl like this and all her big tough brothers, all her big tough brothers had a problem with the, the Predator, but she didn't. She was more clever, but I liked it for what it was. I can't wait to see the next one in this Prey series. There's that. There is this. There is the special features. In case you haven't bought it yet. And I think I showed this on my Instagram page. But there you go. The discs are really cool. And there's a little advertisement for um, the figure for the Prey Predator. Um, yeah, so simple release. I like the movie. I'm glad it came out, but Disney and 20th Century Studios are run differently. And I hope it stays like that because 20th Century Studios puts out some damn good movies. Um, but, tw uh, but Disney has to say so over what goes to theaters and what doesn't which really pisses me off because this movie would have made a lot of money at the theater. Um, there was another one that came out about aliens, uh, No One Will Save You. That one would have made money at the theaters. Even if it was for two weeks, that would have made money. But no, it's like Disney has competition against itself. Even though they own 20th Century Studios, I really wish they didn't. They, they want competition. They're, they don't want competition. And, um, you know, the other movie I bought was a must for my collection. I'm going to keep the one that I have. I think it's a diamond edition because it has extra features that this one doesn't. And it is Snow White. This is the, this, they released this for the 100th, 100th anniversary, which I eh, don't give a shit about. Because the last five to ten years... Nothing memorable came out of Disney. I mean, there were some good movies and stuff like that, but most of their TV stuff and ugh, crap. But this I had to have because it's 4K. This is um exclusive edition to uh, Disney Movie Club, which really doesn't mean anything because it just comes with the actual DVD as well. But I don't know if this transfer is the same as that. Don't know. I think these two are the same, but I don't know about that one. So, I'm not going to watch the DVD, but the back is beautiful. And I spent some time and effort. This is all all matted, actually. You can't, it's, it's all matted. Some spot glossing there, and this is embossed. There you go. I think, yeah, I have a video up of this already. Um, there you go. The UK... They had this, but they got artwork on their Blu-ray. We didn't. Um, 
think I have the, let's see. Yeah, there's the DVD. It's just plain white, but I don't know if it's the same DVD uh, transfer as the 4K. Don't know. That was worth getting. And actually, I got this cheaper. I got this for like 13 something when you bought this for full price. It would have been the same price as at the store. I got this for 13 something. So it was a good deal. All right. Enough Disney shit. We're going to get to. Um, the video game movie dome and the video game movie dome i did do a video on it this month but i'm gonna quickly show them pam from the video game movie dome finds me some good stuff and she found me gremlins 4k have this on blu-ray in a three movie pack gremlins gremlins 2 and goonies i updated goonies and gremlins gremlins 2 uh, it's not on 4k yet but i'm gonna get it uh, eventually so I have this now on 4K. There you go. And it came with a slip, so couldn't say no. She gave me a good deal with it. Cocaine Bear. Another great... I wouldn't call this horror. I, I, it's like a uh, uh, adventure slash action comedy thriller kind of thing. Directed by... Um, directed by Elizabeth Banks. Surprisingly, good job. Now she's hosting... Um, was it the Whammy Show on Game Show Network and on regular TV? Pressure Luck. Why? I don't know. She's a director. She was an actress. Now she's directing a game show. Or now she's hosting a game show. <laughs> Cocaine Bear. Do I need this on 4K? No, I really don't. I know it came out on 4K after the fact, but I'm like, do I need it? No. One movie that I have to watch in November is no hard feelings i heard nothing but good things about this movie how funny it was and raunchy because uh yeah we get to see a lot of um jennifer lawrence in this movie yeah so this movie i'm looking forward to it's on streaming right now so either or i'm gonna watch it there's a uh, artwork on there i don't like the artwork on the disc because it's just I don't know. It just doesn't do it. But anyway, no hard feelings. This one, I definitely want to watch. First day of November. Joy Ride. Great cast. I love how they're using more Asian people in movies and casts and stuff. Because they're, they're funny. They're, they have a lot of talent. And there's a lot of Asian um, actors and actresses that, you know have a lot of great comic timing and acting ability and we should be seeing that more and more so there's another one coming out I don't i don't remember what streaming service it was it was called quiz show with aquafina and uh i don't know the other actress's name i think she's in this but i'm not sure but anyway that's coming out too, and it looks good. So, Joyride, boom. Finally, this is an upgrade for me. I had this on Blu-ray, but she got in the 4K, brand new factory seal. No slip, so I took my old Blu-ray slip cover and stuck it on here. And I like the fact that it's different artwork, right? I mean, I think all of the, all the releases for this movie, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, had different uh, artwork, but I really want to see the second one. I love the animation on this. So, this was um, this was the uh, yes, winner of the best best animated feature 2018. So, yeah, suck on that Disney, right there. Um, the good Marvel, not the Marvel at Disney owns. So. That was the video game movie dome. If you want any information about the video game movie dome, if you're looking for anything, I will leave a link below. Next. Okay. Next, next, next. All right, here we go. Got it all. First one. This I really, I really rarely do this. First day 
uh, releases, but I had some gift cards for Amazon, so I decided to put it towards this. Todd Browning's Freaks. I did a unboxing online. You could actually see a detailed unboxing, but this one also comes with The Unknown and The Mystic, which two movies I guess people were waiting on as well. So, bam. Price is a little bit high on um, Amazon. It's like 48 bucks. Don't know if it went back up, but I got mine for like $20 because I had gift cards and I was going to use them towards this. Uh, sometimes I save up my Amazon gift cards. And if there's a release like this, I'll put it towards it. There's the back in case you want to watch. Now, this is a um, pretty good release. This is the cardboard slip box release. So eventually, probably this is going to be on a plastic one. So, you know, you better grab this while you can. Because it's actually really cool artwork. It makes it look like a, a carnival um, sideshow poster and stuff. So that is Farik's. Checked out the uh, the video on this. Uh, actual, the restoration and stuff. Looks fantastic. Looks brand new. Like it was filmed yesterday. The only thing I had a problem with was the sound. Now, either the sound was... That's the way Todd Browning, like made the movie and he never fixed the sound or that's just it but a lot of the characters in the movie had accents and it was hard to understand what they're saying even the movie even the actors in the movie that didn't have accents pretty hard to understand so i had to jack up the volume a lot it was like muffled in certain spots but not really and vibrated and eh, the sound needed to be fixed. So I don't know if that's the original uh, sound to the movie or that was a re-release and that's the only sound they have to, to restore it. Don't know. But if you know, link below, uh, comment below. All right. Then I got into the Halloween season and I wanted to see, I wanted to see a good version of Jekyll and Hyde. The only one I have is Abbott and Costello meets Jekyll and Hyde. Um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So I wanted to check out another one. I had this on DVD in a four movie set for Spencer Tracy. And um, I checked it out on DVD and then I bought the Blu-ray. Spencer Tracy and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This is a remake of the um, it was a 19... 32 version. This is a remake of 19. There is similarities between 32 and 41. This is like a watered down version of a horror movie. It's, 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 if you like Spencer Tracy, you'll love the movie. But other than that, it didn't really do anything for me. I did, I did stick the DVD in there, made it a combo pack. So there you go on that. It's worth getting if you're a Spencer Tracy fan or just a Jekyll and, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde fan to have a free collection. I did get the original. Well, this is not the original. There's there's another one before this that was a silent film. This is uh, Fred M Frederick Marsh, March with um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This one is a pre-code movie and as you watch it, you can really tell it is. And um, it is fantastic. It is great. The special effects for the time, great. This version right here, when Spencer Tracy turns into uh, Mr. Hyde, it's like watching the same person, just with longer hair and maybe darker under the eyes and stuff. <laughs> and that's it. This one, he totally changes. So that's another complaint about the other movie. But um, this was good. This was really good. And um, this was not 1932. This was the 1931 version before they edited it and cut out 17 minutes. They put the 17 minutes back into this. So it is well worth checking out. It's 96 minutes long. This isn't a Warner Brothers movie, even though it's Warner Brothers Archive. This is a Paramount movie originally, but they bought the rights when they made the 41 movie. And I highly recommend this one. This one's really good to watch. 
uh, for Halloween time. Because I was like, yeah, it's the only one Universal didn't make. Besides that Abbott Costello one was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh, well. Um, but I highly recommend this movie if you haven't seen this version of it. It's really cool. Then I was looking on eBay, blow it out of here, for certain movies, and these popped up. I'm like, oh, if they still have them at a good price, I'm going to get them both at the same time. And I did. Blow it out of here had um, Dream a Little Dream before this disappears. Because some of these disappear, the Vestron series. So I decided to get this. And uh, came with a slip, which I'm surprised about. And uh, I haven't seen this in years. I know there's a second movie to this. Are they going to release it? I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean... I haven't seen this in years, so I'm going to check it out again. I couldn't even tell you what the movie is about because, yeah. Jason Robards is in it. Uh, Corey Feldman, Piper Laurie, rest in peace. Well, Jason Robards, rest in peace. Um, Harry Dean Stanton and Corey Aim, rest in peace. So a lot of the people are gone from this movie, but Dream a Little Dream. Then I seen this. So it's like buy one, get one at like a certain percentage off. And it is Parents. This one I'm going to watch before the end of October. And it's Parents. And um, it's got Randy Quaid, Mary Beth Hurt on it, and Sandy Dennis. What got my attention on this was Sandy Dennis. She was in the original Out of Towners with Jack Lemmon. And that movie is hilarious. I'm not familiar with her other work. I just, I just seen her in this. I'm like, oh, I gotta watch this. I, I never seen this movie, so I'm like, I'll give it a shot. Uh, it is a horror comedy. I'm taking it. But uh, yeah, and it came with a slip. The slip is not mint, but I don't care. Uh, it's a little damaged right there because when it was in the um, envelope, kind of the the disc in, the case inside goes up and down, so it bends. That's all right, though. Don't really care. And this little part, I guess, when they stuck it in there, kind of bent. But, hey, I got the movie. I'm going to watch it probably in the next couple of days. Then, that's it. <laughs> then, uh, it's a medium item. But it's, a, it's from a YouTube collection. It's the greatest Irish Bonds... I didn't even know this existed. Um, it just came up on my feed because I, I, I look up YouTube stuff or U2 stuff on eBay and this came up. And uh, this is a promo copy. Obviously, someone's promo copy because there's a little drill hole. And I used to work for a radio station. And when there's a drill hole, it's a promo copy, but you're supposed to drill it into this, not anything else. But this is a brand new factory seal. Now, do I have all the songs on here? Yeah, from U2. Yeah. With uh, Where the Streets Have No Names. And there is a uh, Bono song on here that he does solo, which I cannot find now. Um, ah. Clanned featuring Bono in a lifetime, which I, I don't know, over the past two months, I bought that single. I found it. And Clint, pretty good band. There you go. So if you want to see the back of this, there's a whole bunch of good bands on here, but it's nothing like new or anything that's limited edition, previous release, none of that stuff. So, yeah. The reason why I got this, actually, was because of um, this DVD, which I never even knew it existed. DVD was Sighting Zabano. It's a DVD. It's a short film. Um, came out. I don't know what year this came out because there's no date on it. It's just a date of. Um, I could click it back in there. It's just a date that the packaging came out. So, yeah. Um, so that's interesting. It's a little Bono thing that. Yeah, I think I had the sticker in here. No, I didn't. I didn't put the sticker. Maybe I did. Hold on. Let's find out. Yes, I did. Um, 
There's the sticker right there. I put it on the inside of this thing. But, um, yeah, it doesn't give any kind of information on that short film. So I'm going to have to look it up on IMDb. So, yeah, that I'll probably watch in November, along with a whole bunch of other movies that I haven't got a chance to see yet. That's it for the month of October. Like I said, big month. Had a lot in there. I already got my November started. I have next to me one, two, three, four, five things already. Uh, possibly one or two more coming in the mail. I don't know. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So if you like what you've seen, and you like my rant at the beginning, feel free to comment below. Get a hold of me on Instagram at movieedge1. Uh, my non-media stuff, hopefully I'll update that in November. Uh, I've just been slow at that. <laughs> and get a hold of me there at movieedge non-media. And uh, if you have the My Movie Pro app, get a hold of me. Um, my movie pro app, uh, movie edge, all lowercase. That's it. That's all. I might have some November, um, videos coming up. Let it be a collection video or something. I don't know. I kind of getting back into the groove of, uh, releasing more content for the channel, but sometimes I get lazy. So there you go. Everyone gets lazy. Uh, that's it. Remember movies are your best entertainment. Yeah.